Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? You like the new digs? Yeah, Sorry Gun Meme Review was a little late this week. I was actually moving. I decided to move out of the city of San Antonio a little bit and move to Bernie, Texas, the home of Demolition Ranch, Matt Best, and George Strait. But I didn't want to do a gun meme review with an empty wall behind me because that just didn't feel American. So I think you guys will agree that my new studio setup here is a bit of an upgrade. And since I know some of you guys are going to be saying, oh, he's filming on a green screen, it's all fake. It's all real. I'm touching it. But this isn't gun wall review, this is gun meme review. So let's move on to the memes. So something you know that we just had to talk about, in case you've been living under a rock, the Oscars happened. Now usually I don't give a flying fuck about the Oscars. Or the Grammys, or the Emmys, or the Commies. Fuck the Commies. But this time around, something kind of interesting happened. So long, long story short, the fish from Shark Tale slapped the shit out of the zebra from Madagascar for making a joke about the hippo from Madagascar. <laughs> Funny enough, this is probably better entertainment than most of the movies nominated for an Oscar in the first place. And all of a sudden, the memes were everywhere. My wallet. The gas pump. I definitely feel this one. The, the raptor gets kind of hungry. Okay, that one's technically not a gun meme, but there were plenty of them for sure. And I'm not gonna go too long into this, because I know you guys are sick and tired of seeing the Will Smith memes, but come on, we, we had to talk about this. At Real Brandon Herrera. People asking where the AK-50 is. I fucking wish. Come on, we literally did an update video like two videos ago, which if you haven't seen, by the way, you can watch... There. This next one actually came from Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. Donut Operator and Brandon Herrera. Morning Mimosas. Okay, for the record, that's morning manmosas. There is a difference. A manmosa being our signature bro brunch beverage. Say that 10 times fast. A manmosa is a regular mimosa, but with a shot of vodka. This meme should really say, donut operator and Brandon Herrera's productivity for the day. <laughs> morning manmosas. We're creatives. We like to drink an IDA and get kicked out of Applebee's. Me going on a rant when somebody says, I think we need more gun control. The waitress at Chili's bringing me another margarita. And that's how we got kicked out of Applebee's and Chili's. I would like to know the national amount of arrests that have happened at $2 margarita nights. Just for statistics sake. And my personal favorite, the MP5 charging handle. I mean, you have to. I would do it now, but the MP5 is downstairs. I know it's overused, that's the last we're gonna talk about the Will Smith stuff for this episode, but come on, it was really fucking funny. And if you're as tired as I am of these Will Smith memes, don't worry. You should just go ahead and subscribe because I promise you, we will never do one of these Will Smith memes ever again, unless it's funny, then we might do it. Okay, we might do another one, but we won't be happy about it. But in order to properly transition into our regular gun memes, Marty Robbins meme. How about another joke, Marty? What do you get when you cross a beloved meme format for Marty Robbins album covers and one of the best movies DC's made? I'll tell you what you get! the police! Get what you fucking deserve! So as of April Fools, Henry Rifles has thrown their hat into the ring for gun memes. Weakest lever gun enjoyer, strongest exclusively semi-auto fan. They posted this series of memes to their Instagram page on April Fools with this caption. Important announcement for all of you in the Henry family. Effective immediately, we've canceled all further photo and video content production. This is now a low quality meme page. I'm not even kidding, Henry Rifles might have more followers if they just decided to fucking do that. High quality photos are how you make a magazine or a website look nice. Memes? That's how you grow on social media. They posted this and a couple others. No, you should have bought a semi-auto. LMAO, cowboy gun, go kerchunk. Chad, lever action owner. Thinks that saddle rings are better than QD points. Only listens to Marty Robbins. <laughs> you shouldn't have. The gun that won the West. Knows that modern firearms are more versatile. Doesn't care. Prefers leather to ballistic nylon. Chick, 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 chick. Now the only lever gun that I currently own is my 44 Magnum uh, lever action Rossi, which I am now regretting uh, not buying a Henry. And when I did buy that lever gun, I, <laughs> for the first hour, you know, I was just kind of sitting there on my table, just pick it up every now and again, just chick, chick. It's just dude shit, okay? I can't really explain why we do it. It just, you have to. All in all, way to go, Henry Rifles. I hope you do embrace becoming a shit tier meme page. So I have a feeling some of the stuff that you guys might come up with is gonna be fucking gold. Like meme gold, not literal physical gold. Although if you are looking for physical gold, I would recommend checking out Acre Gold. 
Acre Gold's been a long supporter of the channel and they're a bit more relevant these days than I would feel comfortable with, especially with some of the economic ramifications due to the sanctions because of the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. Gold is a pretty decent, uh, how would you put this? Weimar Republic insurance. Plus, if you're not just looking for gold, they've got cool merch and everything on their site available now. So if you wanna check them out, go ahead and click the link down in the description and in the pinned comment. And we appreciate them being an awesome sponsor of Gun Me Review. Me, looking at cool rifles as a teenager. Me, ordering those cool rifles as an adult. Congratulations, you have summed up my entire YouTube career in one meme. Seriously, it is kind of dope to be able to use this whole YouTube gig as a, a way to pick up a lot of the guns that I've wanted since I was like fucking seventh grade. Playing Call of Duty and thinking like, oh my God, the scar is so fucking cool. And like now having a couple of them, it's just, it's kind of neat, it's, it's cool. And I, I guess I just owe you guys another thank you for that. I may not be here for a long time, but damn, has it been a good time. Another way of looking at that is my internet success has turned into a crippling gun broker addiction. Guess who spends way too much time on Gunbroker? It's me, it's me, I'm in the picture. Yeah, between this wall, the shotgun wall, all the stuff we have working on at the shop, all the guns on my fucking floor, I, I might have a little bit of a problem. I kind of take the surplus arsenal approach to Gunbroker. I'm sober enough to know what I'm doing and I'm drunk enough to really enjoy doing it. Me, walking in with a new gun. My girlfriend. All right, all right. Listen up, I see a lot of variations of this exact meme. Oh, I bought a new gun and my, my significant other tore me a new asshole. If that's the case, there's one of three things going on here. One, you are not in a financial position where it is smart to be spending money on guns. Two, your girlfriend or wife is the breadwinner of the household and you're spending their money on guns without asking them. In which case, shame on you. Third scenario, you're a grown ass man and your girlfriend is giving you shit for how you spend the money that you earn, in which case, you might need a new girlfriend, fella. After all, did those new guns make you a little happier than your girlfriend makes you? Ask the real questions, Kings. I guess the fourth scenario is that she's got you completely whipped and so you have to go up on stage and slap the shit out of a fellow comedian for a joke that you kind of thought was funny at first. Sorry, Will. Realizing I'll never be able to afford PBS 31A. Eating carrots. Can't afford night vision starts eating foods that are rich in things that help your eyesight. Poor maxing. Now the real big thinker move here is if you can't afford $10,000 sat of, you know, dual tube, white phosphorus, NVGs, invest in a $100 parachute flare. Now, for the next six minutes, it's fucking daytime, no matter what time of the day it is. World War I tech coming all the way back around. When you realize there's a prohibition on Russian ammo, Yes, for those of you who didn't see it, we finally made good on our promise to do the St. Petersburg typewriter or the Kami Tommy. God, I was excited to finally have that video done. Now the comments of this video were full of people asking, will you be doing a production run of these? Now the answer that I've said multiple times and included in the pinned comment is no, no. This was a very, very intense custom build. There was so much that we had to do from the ground up on this gun. It was a total pain in the ass. We'll never be selling these. But what we can sell instead are these Kami Tommy t-shirts. Now available at Bunker Branding, I, I think they're kind of neat. You can't own the Kami Tommy, but you can own a little reminder of the piece of history where uh, I promised I would do something and you guys bullied me for the entire nine months it took to do it. Channel history. Not for real guys, it was cool to finally make good on a promise of a build that we said that we were gonna do for a long time. So once again, promises made, promises kept. Now if we could just get this V3 AK-50 fucking made. I am liking the direction it's taking though. Now that we've kind of gotten the function more or less dialed in, we're still trying some different stuff, but I think this V3 AK-50 is going to finally look like a complete production gun, complete with a couple of little sexy design features. The sexy dimple. Reject woman. Embrace 50 cals. Including the AKM Magwell dimple on the AK-50 is, th that's just pretty cool. Did we have to do it to make the gun work? No, probably not. Is it cool because AK? Yeah. Speaking of 50 stuff, your cam lug. The cam lug she told you not to worry about. Yeah, this cam lug is gonna be kinda big chungus. Hopefully that's for the best. But enough about AK-50 for now. On to the price of gunship going up. Reasonably priced Zenitco. As if it wasn't hard enough to get cool shit out of Russia before. Seeing what people are selling Zenico stuff for now is 
borderline nauseating. But I have faith the market, much like life, finds a way. Whether that be a new outlet to buy real Zeneco stuff, or maybe US-made Zeneco clones, I don't know what shape that's going to take, but I'm sure as shit not paying $800 for a PT1 stock. Just like that. Ammo is cheaper than gas. So ammo prices went down? They went down, right? I mean, at least ammo is not where it was in like the height of the coof, but it sure as shit ain't great. And now, of course, I'm sure you've heard everybody complaining in the U.S. about gas prices being through the roof because of Putin. Yes, I remember when Vladimir Putin decided that the U.S., one of the most oil-rich nations in the world, would no longer be energy independent. Putin did all of that. I don't know. You know I don't like getting into politics too much. Not because I'm worried about, you know, blending politics with my work. Because honestly, if it offends you, I really don't give a fuck. It's really just because it doesn't make me feel good, and I think a lot of you guys probably share that same sentiment. I'm pretty sure when you guys at home think about the state of the world at large, it doesn't make you feel very good inside either. Which is why I try to focus on the things that I can change and the things that, you know, I can actually make a difference in and try not to think about that stuff too terribly much, because really it's just not good for the soul. And I, I know I'm guilty of this too, but I'm sure if you took 50% of that energy that you put into things on a global scale that you have no hope of ever changing, bring it in and put that energy into something that you can change in your own life, you'd probably be a hell of a lot happier. But that doesn't also mean that you can't be prepared for the worst just in case. I know personally I've been getting into, I guess, disaster prepping or whatever you call that. Not really for the doomsday because I highly doubt I'd want to <laughs> live to see that. Just basic disaster preparedness. Knowing that if something happened, and it can, the grid shut down tomorrow, that I wouldn't be fucked if I had to spend more than three weeks completely independent from the outside world. And I talked about this in a prior video, and Angry Cops immediately was quick to jump on it. AK Guy, I'm starting to get into prepping. 60-year-old boomer in the Arizona desert with 30 years of rations and a mobile school bus compound rigged with explosives. Oh man, isn't that the dream? But I know I asked you guys in a prior video if you'd like to see some B-Channel stuff of, I guess, some of the prepper stuff that I've just started to get into. Some of the, the food storage, uh, you know, just different things that I've started to kind of get prepared for in, in my own life. Some of you guys seem to think I was talking about starting a B-Channel uh, for prepping stuff. No, I'm, first of all, I'm not that into it. Second of all, I already have a B-Channel. That's kind of what I've been talking about. I know the list of links is getting kind of long, but if you want to check out the B channel, I'm going to include the, the links in the description and in the pinned comment. It's basically just a bunch of like behind the scenes videos and just some other videos that I guess I just didn't feel like posting to the main channel or it didn't fit the schedule or the content, whatever. It's just the other stuff that I didn't feel like putting here. So if you like this channel and you want more, I'd suggest subscribing down there. But yeah, if you guys would like to see my prepper setup, I guess what I have so far, probably going to be doing a video on that here in the next, you know, couple weeks. Because in reality, you want to be prepared not rely on somebody else who is. I'll just go to your house when the shit hits the fan. Ha ha ha. I volunteer to be a human sandbag. Because remember, at the end of the day, if your disaster preparedness plan is to show up on the front door of your prepper friend's house with nothing to offer, you're the guy in those apocalypse movies who's wearing all leather and is on a leash uh, <laughs> being held by the warlord. Hey, what's up, guys? But guys, that just about wraps up this episode of Gun Meme Review, and it's been awesome. This, this is the first episode of Gun Meme Review in the new office. This is a momentous occasion for both you and I. If you're not subscribed already, you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content. Again, we do Gun Meme Review the first and third Thursdays of every month, except for when we're moving and we miss Thursday and we have to do it on Friday. But I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. My obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put his rise to the top But the killer you can stop Yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop. Funny enough, this is probably more entertaining than half of the movies navigate navigated. High quality photos are how you make a night. High quality photo oh, fuck. And if you're as tired as I am of these gun meme review <laughs> these gun meme review. Oops.